Hi everyone, this is Oscar Nails. In this video, I'll show you how you can break free from being a gel nail beginners and level up. Have you ever done your own nails but feel they didn't look quite as good as when you got them done at a nail salon? In this video, I'll go through three key points to help gel nail beginners level up. I've broken down the why behind their less than ideal appearance, and I'll also be providing solutions. So, please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started. If you've done your nails with gel a few times and have started to feel more comfortable, why not try to up your game? You've done your own nails, but they don't have that shiny, beautiful look like they do after a salon visit. They look less than perfect. There are reason for this. Understanding these differences can help you break free from being a beginner. First, let's examine the points that make beginners' nails look unappealing. Take a look at this picture. Can you identify the area that could be better? There are primarily three disappointing aspects. First, we have gel overflow, the most common issue. This is visually unappealing. It's especially noticeable when using dark colors like red, pink, or blue. Also, do you see how it makes that nails look a bit clunky? This is a common issue among beginners. Also, if your nail surface is uneven and not smooth, it doesn't look great. You might be thinking, what's clunky about this? Or, I don't quite get it. But when you compare it to this, nails that are done well, you can hopefully see the difference. Nails not done well make your nail wet look chubby while nails done well appear sleek, slim, and long. Additionally, they appear smooth and without bumps when viewed from the side too. When aiming to upskill, it's crucial to establish a clear goal for what you want to be able to achieve. Your goal should be achieve the state of these good nails. I'll now introduce some solutions to transform your nails and make them look beautiful. Let's start with the issue of gel overflow. The main cause of overflowing is the amount of gel used. Beginners tend to use too much gel at once. If there's too much gel, it will flow out due to its weight, no matter how careful you are. Therefore, it's crucial to use a smaller amount of gel and spread it evenly. The amount you should use depends on the size and length of your nails. If you tend to experience overflow, start by trying with half the amount you usually apply. Even if you use too little and it appears thin, you can always add more. It's better to have a cleaner application than dealing with excessive gel that leaks onto your skin and becomes uncontrollable. The cause of overflow is also found here. The skin around your nails often has some elevation, so during a salon treatment, they perform a process to push the surrounding skin down before applying the gel. When applying gel to your own nails, it can be challenging to do this as both hands are occupied. So I recommended using surgical tape or similar to hold the skin down and then apply the gel. To enhance the appearance, ensure that this line at the base of your nails remains smooth and not bumpy like this. Create a smooth curve like this. If you are struggling with the large brush that comes with the bottle, you can use a long thin line brush to outline to create a beautiful curve. I've got more detailed tutorials available too, so please click here to take a look. Next, 
Let's talk about the clunky appearance. The cause of this look is the same as the overflow issue, the amount of gel used. People tend to apply too much gel, making it overly thick. Applying too much base coat, color gel, and top coat results in excessive thickness. Your natural nails may look a certain way, but when you over apply gel, they become puffy from the base. This is a common mistake among beginners. And similar to addressing overflow, you can improve this by applying a smaller amount each time. When using color gel, you might be tempted to apply a lot of once to avoid it appearing too thin, but it's important to exercise restraint. If the color gel looks too light even after applying it twice, then add another thin layer and adjust the color intensity by increasing the number of coats. Many people tend to apply the top coat too thickly, so make an effort to apply it thinly as well. The basic technique for gel nails is to apply it thinly. Unlike regular nail polish, gel doesn't harden until exposed to light, so you can make corrections and reapply it as many times as needed. Take your time and apply thin layers. Now, let's discuss the bumpy surface of the nails. The cause of these bumps is related to the previously mentioned clunkiness. When you apply too much gel, the excess gel on your nails tends to flow downwards due to gravity while you are painting the next nail. This results in gel accumulation around the base of the nail, causing it to look bulky or creating a bulge at the tip, as well as gel pulling at the sides. All these issues stem from excessive gel application. The gel accumulations with the base coat, color gel, and top coat eventually end up in a bumpy surface. Therefore, applying thin layers is crucial in this context as well. To prevent gel pulling at the nail tips, when using the brush to apply gel, make sure to pull it all the way to the tip. If you stop the brush at the nail's tip, gel pulling will occur there. Therefore, pretend your nails are longer and glide the brush all the way to the end. When curing the nails under the light, make sure the gel doesn't pull to one side. Hold your index to pinky fingers directly above the light source and position your thumb separately in this manner. This is because the thumb is prone to gel pulling. If you've been careful but still end up with a bumpy surface, you can also use a file to smooth out the bumps. Use the file to gently and consistently sand along the curve of the nail. Avoid filing the same spot repeatedly. Instead, move the file from right to left and left to right to sound down the entire surface. This method will smooth out any raised areas, creating a natural curved appearance. How did you find these techniques for moving beyond being a gel nail beginner? The most important aspect is, without a doubt, the amount of gel you use. There are other intricate techniques, but first, determine the amount of the gel that suits your nails. Once you know the right amount, you can achieve sleek, beautiful gel nails without overflow. So I hope you'll give this a go. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you like see more video like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.